Welcome to Dads That Cook, I'm Jason Glover. I'm on a quest right now to go out around the country and find dads that know how to cook. They may be plumbers, electricians, physicians. We're gonna highlight the incredible meals that they make, show everything that they do, and get you the recipes so you can make them when you're sitting at home with your family as well. There's no time limits, there's no secret ingredients, and no experts, just good cooking. This week, we'll be in the kitchen with Kevin Jord, a brand manager who lives in San Francisco with his partner David and their twins, Jackson and Madison. Kevin will be whipping up some roasted broccoli, cheesy au gratin potatoes, and crispy pan fried chicken. Welcome to Dad's That Cook, I'm Jason Glover. Today we have a phenomenal show for you. Kevin is going to cook us some yummy stuff. I love to cook. You I love to, <laughs> I love to cook the yang so good. And I love to cook for my family. You do? You know, yeah. The kids love it, but you know, you're busy during the week, and so you want to be able to cook something fast that's going to be really delicious, too. We have wonderful twins. They're 11 years old, Jackson and Madison. And you have a partner. Our kids are very crazy life. They've got two moms and two dads. Wow. There's plenty of love. They got lots of grandparents, too. That's awesome. So now, what do you do? What type of work do you do? I'm in marketing for consumer packaged goods companies. So. Okay. Um, Nestle dryers, I do a lot of work on ice cream. So Sweet. coming up with new products and now I'm running two brands, Skinny Cow and Outshine. So Skinny Cow. Skinny Cow. Okay. Don't I look the part? Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what's the plan right now? We're gonna have one of my kids' favorite dishes, crispy chicken thighs. It's Ooh. almost like frying them crispy, but you don't have to fry. We're gonna follow that up with some au gratin potatoes and some roasted broccoli spears. Nice. All right, well, let's get it. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, one second. You can't cook without your jacket, Kevin. Perfect. Will this fit? I don't know. I, it took uh, three tent sales. <laughs> How many acres of cotton did it take? <laughs> yeah, I'm not really that good at dressing myself. Yeah. This looks very nice. And, awesome. Look yeah, at that sometimes Chef I, Kevin, I actually huh? actually slobber. So you this, slobber? Yeah, while well, I cook. So this is actually... All right, well, let's get our okay. coats on okay. so we can get cranking on this so we're not slopping on our clothes. Now that you got your jacket on, yeah. you know, I feel yeah. so much better, so get to it, all right? Okay. I want some food. I'm hungry. Can I wear this to work? You can. You should. I like my branding everywhere. We're going to want to set the chicken thighs directly onto the paper towel so they absorb right. any... Because you already washed those, liquid. right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, rinsed them off. You didn't just stick them out of a bag. It says on the label, you don't need to rinse. You don't need to rinse. No, come on. This is quick and easy. And as long as these chicken thighs, you know, cook to 185 or whatever, we're going to be totally fine. Right. I mean, they take about, what, 10, 12 hours to cook? Yeah. While the chicken is drying out, we're going to go ahead and get our potatoes. All rotten potatoes? Do these with the peelings on. You know, the peelings yeah. still have all the vitamins in them. We're going to be cooking them in um, one of these oven-proof bowls. Sure. And what I like to do so it doesn't is just give it a quick... A little spray? Yeah, quick spray. Wow, you got great technique there, Kevin, with that spray. I mean, I have never seen such a good sprayer. All that you want to do before we start slicing these um, thinly on the mandolin. So you, you know, cut them in half first. Yes. Otherwise, you might slice your finger Exactly. Off. And we're using Yukon gold potatoes. And the beautiful thing about this recipe is, oh. is that you don't even need to worry about layering everything. Just throw them in. Right, because normally it's always been the layers. Right. It's like slice them real thin, make a layer. Slice real thin, make another layer of their cheese and your sauce. And pretty soon it's almost like a lasagna and it takes yeah. you forever. So. Forever. And that's the beauty of this. You want to be fast. You right. know, you've only Quick. got about an hour to get everything done and ready for the kids for dinner. Right, because so, they're hungry. Yeah. What you want to do is you'll want to try it out um, oh, it's a little based on what you like. Honest. I know the recipe says to do it at one eighth inch. Uh -huh. I like to make it just a little bit oh, thicker. thicker. Look, I want to show you the dot. Look at that little dial. Isn't that cool? Bigger, thicker, smaller, whatever you want. What we're gonna do is you just put that on and then slice it through. Look at that. Oh, that's neat. And then it automatically stops because the kids, when they want to help you right. um, in the kitchen, it's really fun for them. Because when you get down to the end here and using your yeah, fingers. Yeah, what I find though, too, it takes a little extra time and I don't want the kids to do that. Oh, my finger! Oh, it's such a... The good thing about making, slicing them a little thicker is they yeah. hold up right. even when you warm them up the next right. day. So what you're doing now is you're grating the I'm cheese. I'm grating some Gruyere cheese. And you know, the recipe only calls for one cup, but we uh, like extra cheese. You know, cheese is the best part. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to start putting everything um, together mm -hmm. except for the cheese. Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay. 
What you're gonna wanna do is get um, five tablespoons of unsalted butter. You wanna distribute it around pretty well. That cheese is yummy. Mm -hmm. So is this butter. Butter, well I'm not gonna eat Everything's that raw. Everything's better with butter. I did eat some of your cheese raw. Really? So we've got three um, cloves of garlic that have been crushed, crushed and minced. So you know, when you use your fingers, sometimes you, your fingers. you can like use a liquid to rub, you know, to get all the garlic in there. Two, oh. Oh, uh, what a God. mess, what Sorry. a slump. Kosher salt. Kosher Just salt. Just a sprinkle. And then we're gonna do a little dusting of nutmeg. And the thing that you wanna be careful of is you don't wanna mm -hmm. use too much of it. We'll do it like six times. One, One two, two, three, three four, five, five, six. There you All go. All right. Wait. But see, for dads who don't have one of these deals and you're not gonna get your own little nuts out and grate them down, you could just get some nutmegs already ground yeah, up and done. Yeah, you could do that, but this is- A little sprinkle. If that's fresher. Just great. have it on, you know, in your belt. Yeah. I got my griddle! We're gonna do now that we have the potatoes all uh -huh. sliced. We're right. gonna take this over to the stove now. We're okay. gonna pre-cook it for about 10 minutes great. before we put it in the oven. So we're gonna put the heat on medium. We just want to make sure that the, all the butter gets in there. So you see it up here, you yeah, want to yeah. make sure that gets all melted. So it's been boiling for about 10 minutes now. And what we do now before we put it in the oven is you want to- Grab the sprinkle cheese. Sprinkle the cheese. Yeah, and as mentioned earlier, it only calls for a cup, but we like putting a little bit more. It's I like yeah. cheese. Yeah, put that in the oven? Yeah, we're going to put it in a 400 degree oven for right. about 30 minutes. Little glovey gloves, yes. all right, go for it. Can you open the bottom of yeah. it, please? So what I like to do is leave a little bit of the stem on because okay. um, you're gonna wanna have some contact surface area. So you're gonna leave the whole thing or are you gonna cut them up in little pieces? How are you gonna do this? Do you think I'm just gonna do that? Well, I don't know. No. I thought maybe you were trying to leave it Here. so that you can pop it up nice and okay. straight like that. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Try to separate each yeah. Um, yeah. florette like that. You know, when you get to these awkward ones, just yeah. go ahead and try to get like, what you want are big spheres. You want them to be flat, okay. so they'll get contact with the oil and stuff, and it'll be really delicious. This looks really difficult to make, Kevin. Oh, isn't it tough? Yeah. Again, you know. Very hard. It takes 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Oh my God, that's so long. This is my son Jackson's recipe. Oh his, really? He's, well, he invented it. He created it, huh? Oh yeah, nobody else has roasted vegetables before, but I'll let him think that it's his recipe because it gets well, meat as vegetables. That's about the spacing that you want. You don't want it to be too overcrowded. What we'll do is we'll just drizzle some olive oil, salt and pepper, and I'll toss it around. And these are just okay. for decoration, right? Right. Jason, what do you think? Adorable. So what you want to do is you just want to drizzle it. You want it to get roasted nicely and you know, you want to really caramelize it really good. Yummy. And the kids even like it when it gets a little browned. Oh yeah, know? crunchy. Yeah. Oh, you're one of those. It, it really hurts your arm when you have to crank it yourself, it right? It does. I've been working those actually pepper five. shakers. You want some pepper on that? So this is going to be good to go. We'll put it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. All right, okay. sounds good. So we're just going to put some salt and pepper. Yeah, that's about it, huh? Just some salt and some pepper. Just some salt and pepper. So we've got the pan heating up mm -hmm. before you actually add the vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. Yeah. Okay. Swirl the oil and even try to get it up as close to the edges as you can. Yeah. Ooh, listen to that. I can handle splatter. Wow, you had it all like planned out. And what you may want to do, this is what I do for fun, is just for a throw some thyme. Just sure. gives it a little bit of flavor. So that'll be ready to go in eight minutes. It spatters a little bit, but you know what? The dogs will come in and look yeah, it up. Right. It's like you don't have to worry about it. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that crispiness. And you know what? You just keep it on that side, and all that fat in the skin is going to mm -hmm. render out. I don't recommend sticking your face in the pan to take a look at it, though. No. Because that would hurt. I think we're ready to move right. it into the oven. All right, so let's do it. There it goes. And again, we're going to keep it skin down. Skin down. Skin down for about 13 more minutes in 13. a 475 degree oven. All right, we're ready to roll. Now that's good. sitting there, and we got the potatoes yeah, working. The potatoes They've got eight minutes. Oh, that looks good. good. 
That's larapin. What does larapin mean? Larapin, it's like you just kind of larap it up, you know, you kind of lickety lip and larap in it. I would say that to my wife and she'd look at me like, what, you're nuts. Oh, look at the chicken. Yeah, let's stick it out. Sit right there and play with it. Okay, there you go. Ooh, look at that. That looks yummy. Here, I'll hold on to that for you. It doesn't go anywhere. You got it. Get in there. Get it. Game on. Now that's going to go back in. It's going to go back okay. in the oven. Finish cooking off on the bottom. For how long? For five minutes. Five minutes? Yep. You ready? Ready. Okay. And that's just going to get nice and happy for a yep. little bit. So we've got about five more minutes on these as well. And so now we just kind of sit around, huh? Yes, we do. I like that part. I really like to clean. <laughs> well, I like, like a, you know, I'm glad you brought that up because know. I like to clean while I cook. I don't like sloppy messes. That's what I do too. Are the cameras going to follow as I clean? No, it'll just be automatically cleaned. Okay, that's great. I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> It always makes it easier, you know, if you clean as you go along. The plate that I can't stand the most is an egg plate. Eggs or cereal bowls. You know, put a little water on it and let it sit. At least, right? at least. All right, we got the chicken. That's ready to roll. You're just going to set that on the table here? Yeah. Ooh, that looks good. All right, potato, potato. Ooh, that looks good. Okay. Mmm. Jason, if you can grab the broccoli. Thank you. All right, slap that bad boy in, uh, in the oven. Yeah, we're gonna put it in the oven now, 425 degrees for about 15 minutes. The chicken and the potatoes can actually just hang. You want them to sit. You so want them to sit. So now we gotta sit around and wait for that. Yeah, I can go do a little more cleaning. Yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> we're here, we're ready to go, we're ready to eat the food. We got the whole fam <laughs> damn lamely here, and we're gonna try it out. This looks really good, Kevin, and, and again, this was a very simple, easy meal to make. It yeah. wasn't very difficult. Right, kids? Yeah. Now, I heard yeah. you guys had some influence on this. I heard, Jack, you came up with this broccoli dish. Is that right? Yeah. You kind of invented it? Yeah, Jack invented it. And it's great. We make it with kale, too, sometimes. So I like asparagus, it. Asparagus, potatoes. All right, let's put it on the plate. Grab your plate. Let's make it happen. Jason, do you want to scoop up some potatoes sure. for her? Sure. I'd love to do that. Yeah, you like, like the top, like those? Yeah. You like to steal all the top, don't you? Am I right? Because if I was you, I'd do the same yeah. thing. Okay. Oh gosh, look at that. Thank Is that you. good or you want more? Mm -hmm. I'm good. We're bringing some, some broccoli, broccoli on these two plates and we're ready to roll. All right, I'm gonna try out your broccoli first, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. mm, that's good. I like the broccoli, it's got a nice crunch to it. Let's get in on some of this potato over here. Check this thing out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna slice that and I'm gonna shove it in my mouth. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's good. And that was like so easy. Mm -hmm. to make that, Kevin. All right, let's dive into some of this chicken, see how we're doing. Mmm. Okay, I'm gonna cut that off. Ooh, look, that skin is just crunchy. That bite is calling my name. Mmm. Isn't that great? Mmm. All right, so what do you think about the food, guys? Really good. Yeah, you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you think so? Good. Real good. Real good? Like your whole mouth is stuffed with food. It must be good, right? You think your dad's a good cook? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, no doubt, huh? So that's Dad's I Cook. Thanks for coming and enjoying this phenomenal meal with Kevin, our fabulous chef here. If you want to get the recipe, you want to check out more stuff, go to dadsthatcook.com. You can learn all about it. That's our show for today. So we'll see you next time on Dad's That Cook. I thought you were going to say next time on Drive-Ins, Yeah, right. Next time on Dad's That Cook, somebody else is going to be cooking. <laughs> <laughs>